Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day eight of vitality. Actually debating again about what could I do in a small way that would move me forward. And it was about getting out of bed this morning. I can still feel the hour change in my get up out of bed in the morning time. I lie there and I go, oh, it feels a bit earlier. It still feels early to me. And so, yeah, so it's really interesting really noticing my inner dynamic about choices or about things that I intend to do, or it's like it's, it's brought a different sense of presence to my inner world, looking at these micro choices within myself. Um, so we're back into Monday. So we're coming up into stand uh, we're going to do some triangles, some warriors in this class and, um, great. So we'll start on the floor and we'll build our way up. So come welcome. Land, arrive, fix your clothes, find this moment in your body. Years ago, I used to do a thing called Vipassana. Vipassana are these 10 day silent retreats um, I think I did 17 or something like that of them. There was a time when I was just doing Vipassanas all the time. And they look a lot at this inner sense of choice or the inner dynamic and your aversion or attachment to things. Yeah, it was really interesting really seeing that in this choice that we have, there is something really deep that the great sages of our times have looked at. So begin to rock your knees from side to side. Bring your arms wide and out. And as you do this, I'm bringing my attention into that layer of me that has choice and agency, that is choosing to engage and be here. I'm just rocking your knees from side to side, feeling, sensing, being in your body. Nice, come back to center. Draw your right knee up onto your chest, keep your arms wide. And then stretch your right leg long so it floats just above the floor, really strong. I feel this from my rib cage down into my hip, into my belly, into my leg, down into my heel. Bend your knee. Draw it up as close as you can, a bit like zoomies. And then stretch it long. So feel that as you draw your knee up, let your bum lift. And as you stretch long, feel the pull of your leg. Where does your leg begin? I love that question. Where does my leg begin? And why have we separated out different parts of ourselves? Can we be whole in our movement? Can every single part of us be engaged and connected and responsive to the movement we're making? Nice, change sides, left leg up. And I feel quite a squeeze in my body as I draw the left knee up and I'm engaging the foot into the floor and the squeeze of my thigh. And then the surge and the push down long into that leg. And bend, squeeze, and then push long. Bend, squeeze, push long. Nice. Both arms wide. And then drop both knees down to the right. Bend your left elbow and bring your left hand over towards the right. So both hands are resting on top of each other. And even your left hand goes a bit beyond. And then draw your left knee up towards your chest as you pull your left elbow back. And then reach your left hand forward as you kick your left foot backwards. Propellers. So just feel that gliding forward and backwards and they are opposite to each other. So as my elbow goes back, my knee comes forward. As my knee goes back, my hand comes forward. And again, have that same sense of reaching deeply when you get to the end of the movement and then squeezing deeply when you get to the top of the movement. 
So have a moment of reach, extend, and then a deep squeeze. One more time. Reach and squeeze. Cool. Come all the way back to center. Pause. Shimmy yourself around. I love lifting my bum, lifting my shoulders, fixing my arms. Now I feel straight again. Drop your knees down towards the left. Let your right hand travel like a helicopter all the way over towards the left. And then pull your right knee up, right elbow back, right hand forward, left foot back. So I have less space on this side, so I'm going to keep my elbow bent so it's my elbow that's reaching forward. So I still have a sense of coming to the end of my range because when my hand, when my arm was straight, I was shortening the movement. With my elbow bent, I can really feel the spiral to my torso. And feel the squeeze. When your knee comes up, squeeze it. When your foot goes back, lean into it. When your knee comes up, squeeze it. When your foot goes back, lean into it. Nice, come all the way back. Pause. Mm, very nice. Cool, so roll over. Come up onto your cat pose. So round your back and then arch your back. So as you're moving, you're really connecting to this moment in your body. And a bit like, you know, you can do one minute of something. You can do the small version of something if you're feeling like you need to take care of yourself and mind yourself. So there's always a smaller version of a movement that you can engage into in wellness. So a bit like how I always say, you know, make the movement smaller, make the movement slower. It's a bit like that. The theory or the, the intention of vitality is the same thing. You know, commit for a small amount of time. Make it tiny, your commitment. So make the movement smaller. Nice. So lift your right knee up to the side as high as it'll go. And then swing your right knee over towards the left. And look over your left shoulder. So my knee is behind my other knee. And I'm looking back. Nice. Bring your right knee straight out to the side. And then bring your right knee behind the left and look back towards your knee. Right knee up to the side. Right knee down towards the left and look back. One more time. The right knee up, pause. Really engage into your arms. Breathe into your belly. And then bring your right knee down behind your left knee. Look back and pause there. Nice, change. Both knees on the floor, both hands on the floor. Bring your left knee out to the side, up. And then left knee down behind the right, look back. Your knee stays bent, left knee up. Left knee behind, look back. Left knee up. Left knee behind, look back. Next time we're gonna pause. Left knee up, pause. And then left knee behind, look back, pause. Nice. Sit your bum back into a child's pose. Have your arms long and wiggle yourself down. So even though my arms are long, they're not passive. I'm pushing my fingertips into the floor. And from that push, I'm creating a connectivity into my bum, into my pelvis, which helps me draw my bum a little bit closer to my heels. My armpits are lengthening. My breath is in my belly. I'm going to walk my fingers a tiny bit further forward and then again push. Something had softened, I had created more length. Nice, 
hands and then walk your hands in in and then bring your hands out to the side so your arms are as wide as they'll go kind of at a 45 degree angle i'm up on my fingertips and then draw your forehead down and just feel it in your arms what happens in your arms when your fingertips are standing and you walk your fingers as far out as you can Slowly, walk your fingers forward. <laughs> and bring them all the way to touch. So my two thumbs are touching. And then how far forward? I feel like the Adams family. <laughs> walk your fingers as far forward. You're still way up on your fingertips. Pause. walk your hands back cool push back into your downward dog all the way back creating length through your hips through your belly all the way back really deepening connecting as always when i land in here i'm like oh i just want to stretch out my calves and my feet and i was looking at um some reach research by peter atia Peter Atia is a medical doctor, and he's also a podcaster and a scientist. And he was looking at toe strength and how toe strength can directly correlate with fall risk. So the stronger your toes are, the less you'll fall as you get older. So lift your toes and then grab the floor. Lift your toes, grab the floor. Lift your toes, grab the floor, and then walk forward, but every time grab your toes on the floor as you walk. Grab, grab. It's like if there was mud, I would be trying to squeeze the mud between my toes. How far forward can you walk? Find your distance, lift all your toes, grab the floor, lift all your toes, grab. Lift, grab, lift. It's like you're trying to make a fist out of your toes, but the floor is in the way. So you're never gonna make a fist. It's more that they just all push down. <laughs> nice, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, bring your hands together in front of your chest. So now that we're standing, lift all your toes and then grab the floor. Lift all your toes, grab the floor. So do you feel that all your toes are working evenly? Lift, grab, lift, grab. So this morning, we're gonna notice our toes as we do our standing poses. So reach your arms wide. And as you reach your arms wide, keep grabbing your toes on the floor, reaching up and looking up. As you bend your elbows, bend your knees, keep grabbing the floor with your toes. Bring your hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, keep grabbing the floor. Lift your chest, look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your left foot back. Pause there. Feel your toes at the back and your toes at the front. What are they doing? And you push into the back foot so that your whole body is moved by the pointing of your back foot. So push into the back toes. So as, it's almost like you're pushing yourself forward. Push with your back foot. Push with your back foot. Nice. Drop your left knee to the floor, right hand, right knee, rising up and sink deeply into your hips as you reach tall through your left arm notice your toes are you grabbing with the front foot are you pushing with the back toes super from here both hands to your front knee lift your back knee and turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and then drop it down towards your thigh, reach your right arm up and look up. 
lengthening through your body as you glide deeply upwards with the right arm. Nice. Bring your right elbow down to your right thigh and sweep your left hand across the front of your face like elephant and then along beside your ear, creating length. Maybe look at the ceiling beside your armpit. Now that our elbow is on our front knee, you should feel support. The front thigh should be resting more, whereas the last two moves, they've been a bit more active. Drop your left hand to the floor. Turn your toes towards the floor at the back. Either drop your back knee to the floor if you wish, or dial in your twist first. So bring your fingers to the front of your right shoulder. Lift your elbow deeply first and then extend your arm up. Breathe. Remember, you can do anything for one breath for 10 seconds. Find your way of engaging with this practice in as big or as small a way as you need to. Bring both hands to the floor, either side of that front leg. Stretch out your front leg. Bend your front knee. Stretch out your front leg. And as I stretch out my front leg, I can feel my toes want to stretch because they were really engaging there. So as I sit back, I'm pulling my toes towards me and widening into my foot. They're really appreciating this actually. Interesting. Nice. Turn your toes towards the right side of your mat and walk your hands back to the middle of your mat. The side of your middle of your mat. And just bend one knee. Bend the other knee. One knee. Bend the other knee. Nice. And then heel toe inwards. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Slowly rounding up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together, palms come to rest in front of your chest. Great, we'll come to the other side. So come to the front of your mat. Grab the floor with your toes. Reach your arms wide, reaching up and looking up. Keep grabbing with your toes, bend your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way forward. Hands to your shins, toes are still active. Arching your back, look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back. And just feel a sense of front foot is really engaged with your toes. Back foot is pushing down into your toes. So how would you move your whole body by pushing your toes into the floor and going from flexed foot, your heel moving away, to your toes moving away? Go slowly, really feel that you're engaging into very deep and powerful muscles of your foot. Nice, drop your knee to the floor, left hand, left knee, bend your right elbow and then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. What are your toes doing right now as you lengthen and reach upwards? vitality, you know, having a spring in your step rather than a plod in your walk. And I wonder, does that come from your toes? So I wonder as you get older and your toes stop engaging or rolling through and your toes get weaker because you're not engaging them as much. I wonder, does that the, is that the plod that happens? So maybe notice today. <laughs> so bring your both hands to your front knee. Lengthen, turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Sweep your right hand up and then down towards your thigh, reach your left hand up. How do you move your toes in your day? How are you walking around the place? Is there a spring in your step? Nice, bring your left elbow to your left knee, sweep your right hand across the front of your face, elephant. Maybe look at the armpit. So, uh, through beside the armpit up towards the ceiling, a spiraling elephant. Nice, drop your right hand to the floor, 
turn your back toes you can drop that back knee to the floor or dial in your twist so turn your left elbow so that your thumb is on your front shoulder i'm going to drop my back knee and then reach up always this leg yeah i was doing gardening yesterday i can feel it in this leg it's funny Twisting, left hand is towards the ceiling. Bring both hands to the floor. Stretch out through your front leg. Bend your knee. Stretch out through your front leg. Bend your knee. One more time. Stretch out through your front leg. Bend your knee. Lift your back knee. Turn your toes towards the left side of your mat. Hands to the middle of your mat. And then bend one knee. Bend the other knee. Bend one knee, bend the other, and then heel toe in one step. Bend one knee, the other knee. Rocking the center of gravity from the left thigh, hip to the right thigh, hip. Step in, transferring your weight. What happens as you come closer with your feet? What changes in your body? What's the different parts of you that are beginning to engage walk a bit closer yeah, i feel it more into my hips and into my waist the closer we get in closer <laughs> bring your elbows to your knees pause there super come sit on the floor all the way down Grab a glowstone in your hands. Maybe two, grab two glowstones. And then just pause with your hands holding your glowstones and sit tall. And find a place where you feel that your hands are really comfortable and that your shoulders are dropping away from your ears. And that you feel the weight of your glowstones And just gently twist towards the left and bring your glowstones with you like you're offering a plate of something or offering two options. This one or this one? Morpheus from the Matrix. <laughs> and come back to center and then twist towards the right. Sitting tall, shoulders are away from your ears. Sense of ease, sense of comfort, but definitely a twist. And then back to center. Come lie on the floor. All the way down. Hold on to your glowstones. Pause. For me, because uh, my, my stones are stones, there's a coolness to them. Um, and they're shiny, roundy stones. So maybe if you have turf, it feels different. If you have um, casino chips, dice, eggs, hot stone, massage stones, cement, painted stones, beach stones. Just feel that. Feel that you're holding something in this moment. How do your hands sense what you're holding? What sensations do you feel? How do you know that it's that you're holding something? How do you know that there is an object in your hands? What feedback are your hands receiving from what you're holding? Nice. How interesting. Sorry, I went over time. I keep going a little bit over time, so I'm really sorry. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, I really enjoyed that. I really love my glowstones. Um, 
One was given to me by Sinead, this one here. I showed you those before. And then this one here, I got in, um, I got uh, crystals for water at one stage. And this is one of the crystals for the water. Um, great, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow, uh, day nine. And um, cool, fantastic, lovely. Bye.